Hey everybody, this is a quick demonstration of the Sparrows Mantis. Today I'll be taking on this uh, Chicago lock, uh, padlock from Compex. It is a Ace 2 core. Uh, you'll see that on the Mantis there is a squared tooth and there's also the beveled tooth. What it does is it sits in the groove the squared section sits in the groove uh, in the the plug of the padlock and the beveled edge sits in this beveled edge that rides uh, or sits around the the core here so as you see it fits in there pretty snug I mean I can tilt this thing back and forth and it pretty much for the most part stays in there but when you have tension on this thing, it does not go anywhere, it doesn't budge. You can do it single, uh, what do you call it, like with your index finger, or you could do it with your thumb and index finger. This is the position that I like, or the technique that I like here. The Mantis has these little sharp edges though, and this thing only is about two and an eighth to maybe two and a quarter inches long, so it's not very big. It's a lot smaller than what I thought it was gonna be, actually. But you see, my finger is a little bit cramped up on this, and if you're gonna do like a marathon session with this thing on, on a lock that doesn't wanna open, it's, you can get cramped up. Plus, this thing will dig into your thumb and your finger, and uh, you just find the need to wanna to reposition every once in a while on this thing because of that. Let me grab my pick here. What I use is a broken Sparrows pick. I've just rounded off the edge with a file. Let me get this thing going here. The way I like to pick it is in like a star pattern. So I'll start here with this first pin. Let's see if I can... Yeah, you can see it okay, I think. I can't see it all that well, but you can see it. Here we go. There's one pin. Two. Three, I think. I'll demonstrate both techniques if I can get this thing open pretty quick. Both meaning just the index finger and then also with using the thumb and index finger. I might just switch over to that now. And I felt one give. There we go. Open. So, one thing I did want to point out about the uh, the Mantis is that if you have, let me grab it here. If you have something like this PC Guardian, which is a lock for a computer that you can use to cable to like a desk or something like that, something that's not gonna, you know, budge. It's got a very small core, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see. And the Mantis is pretty much for the ACE and ACE2 cores, um, specifically, I think. So, as you can see, it's just, it's not gonna work uh, for a smaller core like this. So you have to keep that in mind. You can pick the ACE and ACE2s like all day, but uh, anything smaller, you're, you're not gonna have any luck with that. So let me get this locked back up again. Let's see if I can pick it one more time on camera here. Oh, I wanted to show the bidding on the key as well. So you got some uh, some highs and lows there. So it's pretty good bidding. One thing uh, uh, about this type of core is that it, the key has that little nub on it. It fits inside of the upper groove around the outside of the plug. 
and acts as a, a key retaining mechanism for when it's in the unlocked position. You can't pull out the key. It has to be in the locked position to be able to pull the key out. So let's see if I can do this one more time. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. And I'll try to keep it I'll try to keep it in frame here. I don't know if you can see it all that great, but I have to see it at the same time, so. You can hear the pins, uh, sorry about that, hit the camera. You can hear the pin setting. And really it's just a matter of, you know, going over the pins several times just to getting them to set. Oh, sorry, it's like out of focus. Shit, I don't know how long it was like that, but... I may have overset one on here, I think. Because, oh, there it is. There we go. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, hit me up. Um, let me know if you like the video. All right? Take care, guys. Have a great night.